four, five, you kidding me? Six of these, right? What? Hello, everybody. We're here again, or we're, John Spanky Stokes is here, me, with another review. And today we have something, like always, something really, really cool. <laughs> I feel like I don't review stuff that isn't cool. How fortunate am I, right? I get to open up awesome stuff all the time. Um, thanks to all these rad artists and creatives and companies that send me things to just check out and record my reaction on video. Um, today we have a really cool one that was really unexpected, so it's like, wow. Um, this is the Space Dog from artist Han Ning. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, I believe Han is from uh, he, he's a, a Chinese-based artist, China, in China, um, and Space Dog is his own IP, his own creation. You can see him there, right there. There's Han. You can go to 6hl6.com to check some stuff out, his work. Here's a little story. The space dog. So, one thing that is very striking about this, just right from the get-go, is the packaging. Kind of like these electronic proof kind of bags with a tag. You can see right here, Space Dog Classic Edition. All the info and a little color, right? Well, Han didn't just send us one. He sent us two. Well, there's that three, four, five. Are you kidding me? Six of these, right? What? And they all come in these packaging, all differentiated by that little color strip. These are all classic edition, and these are actually all a larger version of a previously released one that he did. I want to say the the. The one before was much smaller, like two inches. So this has like a uh, security tape on it. I'll rip the whole bag. But yeah, those things are tough to open. Legit tape right there. Pull the dog out. So this is Space Dog. Oh, the camera can pick that up. Glare from the light. So there's Han's name. There's the doggy. Not sure which version this is, because I, I think I'm guessing this is the yellow version. So it's a dog, very stylized, very cute, very cartoonish, wearing an astronaut helmet. Does he, do these come off? No. It's vinyl. Um, no articulation. Very simple, but very cute. I gotta say, I'm actually looking forward to showing my daughter these. I think she is going to absolutely love them. Let's see. 
Let me fast forward through this so we can see them all because this tape is going to prove to be a challenge. So, fast forward. So, as you can see, the camera shifted. I figure this is a, uh, a better representation. We can see these guys a little bit better. Here's all six. So, this is the yellow version. Very nice blue collar, complimentary uh, color with the yellow, the brown eyes. You see the, the brown eyes? We have focus there. There we go very nice yellow all of these colors are like a uh, like a pastel which is really cool next is I believe the white version nice kind of mint green eyes the pink color That's the white one here we have that is the pink version. More of like a, a lavender eye with a mint green collar. Very, very wonderful complimentary colors. Here's the blue edition with a darker blue color eye and uh, like a cream colored collar. Here is the, this I believe is the peach edition that also has brown eyes and a nice lavender uh, colored color uh, collar really nice and here is the green edition with a uh, more emerald green eye and a yellow collar very very cool I really can't get enough of how cool these guys are. They're just like the perfect little guy, little companion, little little doggy. How, how adorable are they? Um, size comparison wise, let me pull out my, my trusty three inch dunny by uh, Mars One, or I'm sorry, Mars, Mr. Mars, always mess that up, Mars. So that's a three inch dunny back there, so you can see that these are five and a half inches tall, six different colorways, super adorable, come with a, a little helmet, um, from what I can tell, I think you can go to, to this website right here, and you can navigate to the store, although it is, I believe, in Chinese. But I also did find that um, our friends over at Strange Cat Toys have these up for sale as well. And they are uh, $70 a piece. A little pricey, but I think that price is because of this helmet, um, the hard ABS PVC. I don't, I don't think those are very cheap to produce from what I remember talking about um, toy production. Um, I think that is the, the only downside to this, uh, if there is any. Um, is is the price it is it is a little steep I could see these maybe 55 60 bucks I think would be the sweet spot for them um, but they are very nice sized super cute and uh, just really fun toys so I just want to say a huge thank you to Han for sending these out 
Um, I love them. I can't get enough of them. Like, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with them because they're just so adorable. I have to display them somewhere. Um, and there's all kinds of other rad work by Han, too. He had some of these customized recently for, um, I believe, Singapore Toy Show. Toy Show? STS. And they just look so cool. Some really good artists uh, went to town on them. So, yeah. There it is. There they are. There it is. Space Dog. You guys, pick some of these up. Very, very cool. If you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Um, we are, we are, I am constantly trying to do videos. Try to give you guys a uh, inside look at some of the toys coming out or that have been out for a while. So yeah, subscribe, like, comment, and uh, look for our next video very soon. Until next time, like always, peace and hair grease. Hulk smash! Right? That's what he says. Hulk smash! That's my best Hulk I can do. What is going on everybody? John Spanky Stokes here with another video review and this time we have a special, special, special one. Kind of like we always do. I mean, I always... I always like opening toys because I find them all special. But this one, this one in particular, I'm very happy to um, unbox. Kind of did it already, but said I would do a separate video for the release, which is happening very soon. This is the Hulk Green Edition of Dalek's Space Monkey from UVD Toys. Go and bust this bad boy open. Boom. Hulk smash! Right? That's what he says. Hulk smash! That's my best Hulk I can do. So this right here. He's a beaut. Look at him. Alright, so. Just like the others. Comes with four weapons. Right there. Except for, oh, that does not want to stay in there. So we have an axe. Let me ask you a few questions. <laughs> so the axe, I guess that's going to go in his hand. Because why not, right? It just wants to fall out. So there's the axe. We've got the uh, butcher knife, the cleaver, and the mallet. So we already have one sharp object. Let's go ahead and just go with the, the mallet. Boom. It's the noise it makes. At least in my head. So this is the final... Let me move this stuff out of the way. This is the final colorway of this awesome, awesome figure that released earlier this year from UVD Toys and Dalek. The final colorway. And what a doozy, right? I love it. Got those purple shorts. And nice gradation, gradation of the teeth, going from orange to yellow, up and around. And of course, we have a nice little lightning bolt. Nothing on the hands, like some of the other designs. Um, no designs on the legs. But then you turn them around, and oh yeah, those are those are definitely Hulk eyes right there. Those are uh, you don't want to see me angry eyes right there. Is that what he says? Got a nice little lightning bolt on the bootay. And a very Dalek-like 
design on the back that looks like a mouth. Pretty cool. So this is the last in series one. This is the ninth colorway. And uh, they are going to be, I believe, 50 of these available for $150. And he will also have um, some APs, which this is one of those. Bought it from him. He sent it out so that I could help promote the release. Um, the APs will be 170 and they will be limited to 15 pieces. And he will sign the box and sign the figure. So we have articulation in the arms. The head articulates too. So you can give him a mischievous look. Hold that up. And then the ears are articulated as well. One of the best figures released 2020 and to be honest, one of the best figures released um, ever, in my opinion. I love the Space Monkey. And this specific edition from UVD Toys, or I should say this rendition of his Space Monkey, since it's seen all types of mediums and sizes and shapes, um, I am very fond of. So... Wait, are the hands articulated too? I don't know. I don't want to break it. No, I don't think they're articulated too. But there you have it. The ninth and final colorway of Dalek's Space Monkey from UVD Toys releasing this Friday. Friday, November 13th. Friday the 13th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For you guys on the West Coast, that is 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Dalek's web shop. The links will be down below, and if you've made it this far, please hit that subscribe button. I need subscriptions. We're trying to make it to 2,000 by the end of the year. We're so close, and it doesn't cost you a thing. So please, subscribe, hit that like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you see next. We have other stuff planned um, to unbox here pretty soon. But uh, I hope this video finds you all well. I appreciate you watching, and like always, peace! and hair grease. Hulk smash! What is this? Is this a rare guy? I think it's... What? Oh, what? Very cool. This is awesome. What is going on everybody? John Spanky Stokes here with another video review and this time for this video we have Janky Series 2 but I'm gonna ask you all a favor a little side note I was checking my analytics for YouTube I just figured out how to do that and I noticed like everybody that watches my video they don't even subscribe to me so like that's you watching this right now well maybe not you but the majority of you are not subscribed to my channel. So if you could, please go and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you know when we upload videos, because we do them all the time, and uh, it'd be great to have you along for the ride. So please, without further ado, just subscribe, click that right now. I would really appreciate that. And uh, let's go and get into it. So it's been two years since series one came out check out the iCard we unboxed uh, an entire case of those um, online and we're about to do the same thing right now and it's been a year since the first series these just came out a couple months ago and uh, we're just getting around to, to cracking these open 
Um, as a disclaimer, <clears throat> just so you know, this thing is, uh, is plastic wrapped. Nice, sealed, fresh. Um, I don't know about a disclaimer, but more of a, uh, yo, what's up? I actually got these from the um, referral program that Super Plastic did, which is um, a pretty cool, pretty cool program that they offer. At least the past two times they've done their Kickstarter. Oh, that plastic's out of the way. Check out the box. So, um, yeah, I got these as a as a ref part of the referral program. There's their awesome barcode that they do with the janky head. And let's go and open this up. I, I want to pop this out, maybe, if it's not too hard. I'm going to speed up the video when I start unboxing these, kind of like I, I like to do. Most recently, kind of like how I uh, super fast forward. So you guys can still check me out unboxing them, but it's not a super arduous task watching me cut open each and every blind box. There we go. Nice display case. Doesn't even fit. The janky st Speaking of the janky, look how cool that is. I dig how it's like all the, the figures in one figure. They should make that. That should be an actual figure. My two cents. So here they are. They don't, they don't even fit in the full screen. So let's go and just crack them open. Well, uh, look, look at the box first. So here's the, the ratios. Sorry. So we got Pete Fowler, Waddle, Scene, Squink. Got some from Googiemon. Got some other uh, mystery chases. James Groman, Two Petal Rose. Come on, focus. Add Fuel. Julie West. Tado. Tado. What is that? Car. Caramella. I don't. I've never heard of that. It's a sick design, though. Choco Toy. Huck. And then Jor Ross. If I butcher your name, I apologize. Here you go. This is art, not a toy. Ages 13 and up. Well, good thing I'm way over 13. Time flies when you're unboxing toys. So, let's go ahead and open this. You know what? I don't think knives work very good. Or at least dull knives. Nice pink bag. If you remember last time, the sticker was outside the box, and it's outside the box in this one. And let's see. Does it match up with the actual janky? No, it does not. Just like the last go around. So this is the one that I said looked dope, and it looks dope. Comes with a fun accessory and a hat. Let's go and open those up. So like I said, I'm gonna do some YouTube magic here. And fast forward through all of this so that you can see them. Um, you don't have to sit through the entire deal. Cool. There's your first one. Now, without further ado, biggity baggity boom. Last one. What could it be? Last one, guys. There you go. This is the last one. Oh, what is this? A double rainbow. Two James Gromans. Can't beat that. Drum roll, please. And it looks like 
it's a dupe. Well, it doesn't look like I got everything out of this series. So, kind of makes me wish I had another case. <laughs> what? Yeah, I got another case. So, let's go ahead and just keep going. Let me just clear this trash out a little bit. Let's throw all this in there. Put this behind us. And crack into this case. Because why the heck not, right? We're doing a video unboxing. I was gonna make it fun. And do two. Maybe I can go super fast in this one. Y'all ready? Here we go. Let's move these stickers off to the side. Oh, shoot. That one fell over. All right. So how about some more YouTube magic? YouTube magic. Three, two, one, shoot it a bam, boogie boom. And the last, last one. And it's another dupe. Oh well, I think we did pretty good out of two cases. So you can kind of see we got the Julie Wests. I like those. Julie's just a, an amazing artist and just a really kind person. So it's cool to to see her doing some toys again. Let's get this out of the way. We got those. Um, so this is a dupe. I'll move the dupe off to the side. And so we got that guy. That's from um, Tadao. Tado, however you want to say it. Cute dude. I really like that one. Um. <clears throat> So we'll go with the, the Fowler. That is a ratio of two out of 24. So we'll put the other dupe over here to the side. Then we got these from Two Petal Rose. Very cool. I don't know the story behind the, the demon and the um, the lady here like what the ratio is but those are really neat and I'm like very impressed I actually got to meet Liam at um, designer con this past year very cool dude I've been reporting on his stuff for years so it's really cool to finally meet him in person so here are these guys, the color variants from Jor Ross, Ross. Again, I apologize if I butcher your name. Um, let's see here. So the orange one seems to be common. That's two out of 24. Very cool. So those guys are right there. Then we got the two variants from James. What up, James? Very cool designs. And those are um, one out of 18. The orange one is at least. The green is the color variant. Uh, da, 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 da. Here is the ad fuel. One out of 18 love the symmetry and the colors and stuff on that and just the design 
It's like a creepy skull. Then we got the squink. So fun. Such an amazing artist. Had a pleasure to be in the Dunny series with him a couple years ago. That was fun. Um, which one didn't we do yet? We did those. Oh, we haven't done the cupcake, dude. Cupcake Gangster. Look at this guy. Super cute. <clears throat> he is by Choco Toy. He's one out of 18. And so that's a do. We did the growing. What about the huck? Shaving a haircut. Two bits. Huck is one out of 18. Very fun, clean design. Little barber. Nice work, Huck. Then we got this dude, this little beastie. Waddle. One out of 18. This one is like really cool. I love creatures, so seeing this thing is like, that's dope. Really like that design. Then we got the uh, super adorable candy. Reminds me of Wreck It Ralph, the Vanellope von Schweetz character, or just that whole land. Very neat. Look at that. And this is by Carmela. Caramela. I don't. I'm sorry. And that's one out of 24. Da, 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 da. So then we got the scene from the other case. One out of 48. And then the special Googiemon silver chrome. It says rare on it. There you go. So all in all, with no dupes, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 figures. We've got a bunch of dupes. We've got a whole pile of dupes over here, these guys. Um, you know what I'll do? Because... I love you guys. I appreciate you watching all the time. We'll do a giveaway like I tend to do on here. We will um, we'll run the giveaway for like a week, you know, like seven to ten days. Link will be in the the show notes below. All you need to do is just follow the instructions. Uh, I'll put it up on my blog too and post the Instagram. Get a bunch of entries, um, and I will ship out all the dupes that I got in the two cases uh how many that is i am not sure uh i think it's more than a full case so you're gonna get over 24 figures um and i'll ship it to you for free if you live outside the united states though um i'll have to charge you for shipping so as long as you just agree to pay shipping because it's definitely not cheap um uh, if you agree to that i'll ship it out to you not a problem so you get a bunch of figures for free if you live outside the United States. Just pay shipping. But um, like always, Super Plastic, you guys are rad. I appreciate your, your product. Um, I appreciate the artists involved. It's, it's just a really fantastic series, just like Series 1. And I'm looking forward to Series 3. Um, very much so. And I already know, I don't know if it's insider info or not, but I already know quite a few artists involved maybe because I, I talk to them and they tell me they have designs in the, the series and stuff so it's fun I can't wait to see them um, the anticipation is killing me but uh, series 2 is out you guys can go to superplastic.co and uh, pick these up they're like 11 bucks a blind box um, but yeah thank you for watching 
always uh, appreciative of your patronage. And uh, like always, like we always say here, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share this, tell your mama, tell your papa, hide your kids, hide your wife. Peace and hair grease. Googiemon, look at that chrome. You see my face. How cool are these figures? Classic bot. Does it again. Just look how beautiful the translucent is. How you can see the the innards. I love that. And he's just super cute. What is going on everybody? John Spanky Stokes here with another video review and we have some toys today. Some rad designer toys from our friends at Classic Bot. Very, 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 very cool. Philip Lee, the dude behind Classic Bot, always comes out with rad stuff. Always based around the uh, Macintosh, Apple kind of platform where he turns their iconic pieces of machinery into collectible figures or pins or desktop accessories just really cool stuff we um we did a review before of a few things check that out in the uh the i card it'll be up in this corner i'll link it in there you can check it out after this video but today Today we have the classic bot, the iBot G3, just like it was released back in the day. I don't even know the dates when these, these classic bots, or I should say the, the original Macs were released. Right there. And we got both colorways thanks to Philip. This says uh, classicbot.com. You're going to want to remember that. Complete with a keyboard and infamous puck mouse, the iBot G3 is molded in transparent plastic. Translucent plastic, I'm sorry. With details from colors to curves faithfully recreated. So like the Classic Bot Classic, the iBot G3's arms are detachable and held by magnets, magnets allowing for easy transformation to its pure computer form. So without further ado, let's go and open these things up. ClassicBot.com, if you want to get your sweet little collectible mitts on these, and if you're a Mac user, I think it's almost a must. We use Max at work. And uh, I've been using them for, golly. I had a Mac when I was like four years old. It was my first computer, Apple IIGS. It was 1985. So I've been using Max since almost day one. I also like to use PCs, but something about the classic Mac and being turned into figures. Man, those are so cool. Fast forward. Do, 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 do. Let's cut these things open. Use the knife again. And 
There we go. So a big thank you to Philip for uh, for sending these out to me. It's kind of been a long time coming for me to review these. Just been so backed up with getting things done. Um, but here we are. I bought G3. Little manual. Setup information. We respect classic designs. That's why we pay a lot of attention to capture the spirit of the original. Our collectible figure is produced by per precise injection molding with high quality plastics. So you get the figure, the keyboard, the computer stand, and the mouse bot. So here you can see how the, uh, the figure sits together in all of its forms. Check this out. The door on the left can be opened for access to the ethernet port. The door may pop out if it is open too wide, but don't worry, you can snap it right back together. That is so cool. All right, so, like I mentioned before, this comes in two colors. This is the Bondi Blue. And the orange is the tangerine orange. Alright, so I got stuff kind of falling out. So just like all art toys, these are a little fragile. So you just got to want to be careful with them. Alright, so as you can see, here is the, the magnetic arm. Kind of see the magnet through the case right there. See it? That snaps right into place. This guy snaps right into place. The um, base comes out. Doesn't swivel, but the dude stands like a boss. Here's his little mouse this thing out it's a little puck mouse I don't know if you're gonna be able to there we go it's crazy how tiny that is and here's the keyboard and here is the the monitor stand so the monitor stand you can see if you take the legs off, the monitor stand sits just like so, I believe, or like this, like this. Oop. So it can, st oh, there you go. So it can sit there, so you can take the arms off, and you have yourself a standalone computer. Super cute, little keyboard, little mouse. So let's look at the back. So here's that ethernet port that we were talking about, it kind of snaps down. Is that die cast? Like metal maybe really cool so this is don't worry this can just snap back into place as it does right hopefully it snaps back in right there perfect look at the look at the little power like where you plug your power cord in it's got the handle the vents Even the see-through. This thing is so detailed. It is super cool. The fact that he's like a little dude. I love that. I love when you can bring like inanimate objects to life. And that is exactly what's going on with these. Very cool. Love the little arms. Let's go and take this guy out. Check him out. Like I said, each one comes with a little stand, bright orange. Here is the, the 
head, if you will. The arms, magnetic arms. Very strong magnets, by the way. Those things snap right into place. Here are the legs that fit snugly right into the little socket down there. Hey, buddy, you're looking a little blue. <laughs> Here is the keyboard for that one, along with the mouse. Move this out of the way, my goodness. So much stuff. So there you go. So the blue mouse, the orange mouse. You can tell I'm right-handed, I keep putting the mouse over there. There's the stand. How cool are these figures? Classic bot. Does it again. Just look how beautiful the translucent is. How you can see the, the innards. I love that. And he's just super cute. Kind of like, um, I guess it's, uh, what, what is that style? Kawaii, just the big eyes. Kind of little, a little mouth there. There you have it, guys. The iBot G3 Bondi Blue and Tangerine Orange Classic Bot figures. Come with uh, keyboard, mouse, computer, the CRT stand, Ethernet connection ports ventilation fans in the bottom I mean this thing is just stocked magnetic arms so these are only 39 bucks a piece and that's a killer deal if you ask me with like you get the keyboard and just all the little accessories hey, it's just a cute little figure the playability is awesome if you have a Mac Put this next to it on your desk. Make all your coworkers super envious. Dude, thank you so much, Philip, for sending these out. Um, once again, I am floored by how cool they are. Like, really, really cool. And like always, everybody, please like, subscribe. Feel free to comment on this video. Let me know what you think about these. I'll put links in the in the description below where you can buy these. Get them at classicbot.com. Like always, peace and hair grease. Legit feels like a uh, condom in there. What is going on, everybody? John Spanky Stokes here with another video review, and we have what's his name? Wait, what? Hump Eck? Hump Eck? What is what is this? Looks like balloon dog animals doing what dog animals do. Well, that's because it's a figure from Mighty Jacks. And more specifically, this is the Tenacious Blue Edition. Thanks to my buddy Benny over at Tenacious Toys, he sent this exclusive figure over for us to review and that is exactly what we're gonna do let's just cut this box open hope you all are doing awesome so standard box not a lot going on eh, it's okay it's just a box I threw them away anyways right 
Here it is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is this? So this is the Mighty Jacks care card. So let's go and check this out. Oh, there's something else in here too. This is the Mighty Jacks original certificate of authenticity. This is a certified that the figure identified herein is an original authentic product of Mighty Jacks International. This figure has been inspected and approved by the Mighty Jacks team. Seal of approval. Here's the care card. What is this? I wonder if the, does this come. You know what? This is the first Mighty Jacks figure I've opened, actually. Does this come with all of them? If you guys collect Mighty Jacks, leave a comment down below if um, all Mighty Jacks figures come with this. Um, okay, so. This is on the Tenacious Toys website. Uh, there are, it's limited to 100 pieces, this blue colorway, and it is $150. I will put, or $149, I will put a link down in the description of this video to the actual product so that you guys can go there and buy one if you see fit, and I hope you do. So, Humpback by, what's his name, um, this, oh my goodness, this is, so this is a condom, right, it says, Almighty Jacks makes toys, not babies, we will not be liable for the reproduction of tiny humans, um, I'm not gonna open this, but it legit feels like a, uh, condom in there. So yeah, um, they give you a condom, which is, I guess, appropriate, seeing as these balloon dogs are reproducing. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is just as ridiculous as they come, in a good way. Alright, so... There they are, balloon dogs. Um, doing what balloon dogs do when there's two of them together, I guess. Do they make that squeaky sound? No, they don't actually. That was just me. Um, <laughs> I can't get over this. That is silly. So this is this figure is 10 inches long and 10 inches tall. Um, it feels like vinyl. It might be a, a hard vinyl or maybe an ABS. There are no points of articulation. But, you know, this is more of, I guess you could say, an, an art piece, right? Designer art toy. You put it on your shelf camera angle doesn't really allow for that so I will put it down like that or like that there we go so you can see it so yeah designed by what's his name produced by Mighty Jacks this blue colorway is from Tenacious Toys and it is just so cool um, side note my daughter asked me to make balloon animals one time right so I went on YouTube just like you guys are now and I looked up how to make balloon animals and balloon dogs and sure enough there's a tutorial biggity bam I got some balloons and I made some for it, it was so cool they turned out really good and I was a hero if you want to be a hero you like that segue seriously go to tenacious toys link below pick one of these up there's only a hundred of them in the world in this blue colorway it's fun it's a conversation piece. Um, if you are starting a collection or already have an established collection, get, the, get this. Not only for the figure, but because it comes with a condom as well. And you can display that, you know, with it.
Tenacious Toys, big shout out to Benny once again. Thank you so much for sending this out. Awesome, exclusive. Um, go pick one up, guys. Link below. Until next time, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, do all that stuff you do for YouTube. Peace and hair grease. So is anybody there? I see a few people. There's three. I might wait just a little bit more to see if more people join. Uh, please use the chat on the side so I can talk to you. Um, so how's everybody doing? Anybody? Anybody? Chat, chat, chat. Use the chat. We got four viewers now. Anybody else? What's up, dude? Black box, that's right. Can everybody hear? Okay. Does it sound all right? <laughs> Turn some music on. All right. Let's go ahead and... Uh, cool. Thank you. Sound is good. Good to know. Wendy. And is that Boob Otcher or Boob Otcher? Whatever. You guys and your crazy names. Spanky Stokes. All right. So today we're going to be talking about 
Uh, the new Kid Robot Black figure from Kid Robot, which was designed by Tara McPherson. So, uh, Kid Robot sent this out to me to review, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, initially, seeing some teaser pictures and stuff like that online, uh, I could already tell it was one of the, the cooler Kid Robot Black figures um, being released by them. The last one by Doze was pretty awesome. Uh, I didn't actually get to see that one in person yet, but uh, that thing looks pretty awesome. Um, so does this one, uh, and I haven't really opened it up yet, so you guys are, are getting a, a look, except I did open and take a, a little peek. So. Uh, so let's talk about packaging first. The packaging... Really nice, nice flat black um, matte box with a foil embossed uh, gloss ribbon that says, is that Lil 2? I don't really know how to pronounce this. They didn't uh, give me any phonetics. It's L-I-L-I-T-U, Lil 2 by Tara McPherson. This is based off one of her paintings that she did, the figure. So let's go and slip this thing off. Oh, there's a nice design on the on the back. Let's slip it off. Basic black box on the bottom <clears throat> says Leal 2 by Tara McPherson. Um, Kid Robot Black, Kid Robot Black Leo 2, 8-inch black figure, designed with love. Alright, let's go and crack this thing open. So upon opening the box, it slides off very nicely. Um, you can kind of see that on the inside there's like a, uh, a spot where the head of the figure kind of fits in nicely to keep it from moving around during shipping and then the box itself um, has the artwork that it's based off of that Tara painted okay so there's that side And then that side. And then that side. Come on and focus. Uh, 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 there we go. And then that side. All right, so let's go and get to the figure. Reach in here. Got these little things that attach to the the hands. Just take those out. So here is the figure. Alright. So, I think, I'm not sure which Kid Robot Black release this is. I think it may be their, their fifth or sixth one. Um, this one sits around eight inches tall. It's tough to get out of here. Let me uh, take this thing out of the the base that it's in. I don't really know how to do that actually. So you guys that's why it's a live review. If you guys have any questions, feel free to type it into the chat and um, I'll try to answer it or show off what you want to see. But the base. Alright, so basically it was just cardboard or um, foam. And I'm afraid to pull this thing out. It's pretty stuck in there. I see you ruining this. Okay. 
Okay. There's one, two. There we go. All right. So there's the figure. So like I said, uh, 8 inches tall, it's a limited edition of 200 pieces. Uh, they're actually up right now on black.kidrobot.com for $250. Um, the figure itself is, is really cool. I like the fact that they base it off that painting and uh, they did a, a, a pretty good job, to be honest. Only thing I would like to see different is to see the figure holding that severed head, which was cool. Um, you can see that, that pool that she's coming out of is like a, a translucent gray. Let's see. Yeah, it's 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 really hard, uh, and you can see it's translucent. You can see through it. See my hand. You can see everything through it. Stamped kid robot McPherson artist sample on the bottom. Um, there is no articulation, so it's more of a an art sculpture, I guess you could say. Um, after looking at the paint on it, uh, which there isn't very much because it's basically all black vinyl. The, the paint is the, I guess, apricot colored kind of pink orange hair. Um, the application of the paint isn't the best. Just being honest here. Uh, let's see if I can get to zoom in so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Come on, focus. Give my little camera a chance. It's focusing everything in the background. Well, uh, there you kind of see there's a lot of over kind of paint on the over spray, or I don't know how they, they paint it on the, the outside of it. It kind of runs into the, the black vinyl. Um, another thing that's kind of weird is there's some seam lines. Can you see the seam in the hair right there? And on the seam right here. So that's, that's kind of weird to see. Um, other than that, the, the hair is flexible on on the part that sticks out. There's actually a little divot for the figure's nose to go into the hair, so it actually sits like it would be going over her nose. I don't know if you can see that. A little bit. So, But yeah, this thing is definitely for mature audiences, seeing as... She has a little pubic hair going on down there and uh, full uh, shiny nipples. Um, so people are asking, uh, what's up? Uh, what's up, Rob? So he says, uh, is that a seam or a layer? Uh, are you talking about the, the hair itself um, and that little crack that you're talking about that I was showing you? It looks like a like a seam, um, because it's happening on the other side. It it looks like it's basically cut off. What's up, Ritzy P? Yeah, so it looks like it's basically just cut. Like I don't know, they missed a step going on there. I I don't really understand why that's there or on the other side, but it's definitely a flaw. Um, Yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, the figure is really cool. Uh, people are, are griping about the the cost of it. 
Um, 250 bucks is pretty expensive. Uh, I guess when you take into consideration that the tooling and creation for this piece, there's only going to be 200 pieces made where a lot of people will take a, a piece and, you know, make multiple colorways and use that same tooling. Um, you know, I usually people say it costs anywhere from ten to twelve thousand dollars to make a a figure. And you get a lot of runs out of it. Um, this is very limited, and they aren't going to make any other colorways. So, I mean, yeah, and like Ritzy points out, it's pretty big. Um, size comparison wise, we can take uh, yeah, let's take a, a three inch big buddy. You can kind of see that it's big. It's it's a full eight inches. You like the one I chose, Ritz? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, large figure. Um, what else can I tell you about this? Mm, do, 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 do. Uh, so I guess the backstory behind it is uh, there is no hiding. A succubus walks. Leo II, sexually charged, violently destructive, a Sumerian myth, a demon to be feared, to love and to kill without remorse, one man at a time. The unsuspecting only see the near-perfect human likeness, enticing eyes, supple mouth, uh, leaf body, I don't know that word, Little noticed are the breasts of dripping poison and malicious intent. Emerging from the cool, smoky depths from, smoky depths from uh, fresh from one kill, looking for the next. Lee too is poised to allure, calculated stance, intimately glossly, designed for desire, come nefarious, courtesan. Who can resist? So, yeah, that's the story of this figure. Um, there you go, Kid Robot Black. 200 pieces, 8 inches vinyl, and it's solid too, it's not rotocast. This is, uh, this is a solid piece. Um, 250 bucks. Black.kidrobot.com Any other questions, folks? Want to see a turnaround close up? Some people saying something about the hair not being sculpted, right? I mean, it, the hair looks pretty good actually. I think it could probably be a a little bit cleaner. I, I like more thinly. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Yeah, no. I, and the fact that it's like kind of like a bust emerging kind of out of, you know, nothing. It's it's different. That's kind of appealing to me as well. You kind of see that. It's pretty rad. And that the pool is kind of translucent and shiny. It definitely pays great homage to that, that painting. Like I said earlier, though, it'd be cool to see the figure with the head. You know, like on the box. Let me show you. It, it would have been cool to have the, the decapitated head. Like her hand reaching back and holding it. Yeah, Rob says, uh, displayed in a, in a collecting collection of her work would probably look good, not as a standalone. Um, yeah, or if you had all the Kid Robot Black pieces, it would be a nice companion to all of those. Or a black collection for that matter. Pretty cool, though. You would think, though, like, I, I don't know, I'm still kind of 
taken aback by the the seams. You think they would figure that out? Because there's even I mean, there's even one up here on the shoulder. See that? There's a seam there. The hair it's just cut. There's one on that side too. So I, I, I don't know. You think they would technology wise they could figure that out to get rid of those seams. But if I wasn't pointing that out and you guys were just I mean looking at it from a foot away, it looks really good. But I mean we're definitely for the review purpose, we're sitting here pretty much going over it with a fine tooth comb. You know, um, I don't think it makes or breaks the uh, the figure itself. So, Rob, is the head a separate piece? Um, yeah, it looks like it. looks like it. I just don't know how because the rest of the hair like I don't know if they glued the hair on afterwards or what but yeah I don't know how this thing's put together I would like to see the process Wendy says the seams are enough for me not to buy it yeah I mean I could see where that's a put off especially if you're spending 250 bucks for it Yeah, uh, Rob says that the seam should have uh, cleaned it up. Yeah, for the price, there shouldn't be any seams. I agree. I agree. But it is a cool figure, and I'm glad that you know, Kid Robot is kind of pushing a limit when it comes to their their vinyl. Um, like I said, this piece and the last one, the does piece their uh kid row black lines is definitely shaping up to be a, a pretty cool line wonder if like uh wonder what figure would be next be cool to see yeah different direction than the norm for sure let me take the camera down and kind of rotate it oh it's uh spinning here You guys can get a, a full look at the figure. There you go, folks. The new kid robot black figure. Why that hair color? Boo Botcher says. Uh, it's it's Tara's kind of palette. She does this apricot, light blue, um, really pastel-y colors. <laughs> Ferg. Uh, no, there is actually not one. But you did see the, uh, the gloss black. You know? And the, uh, the, the apricot down there. So... There's that. All right, guys. Well, if you want to stick around and hang out for a second, I'm going to stop this video. You guys can just hang out in the chat. And when I start the video back up again, I'll have another product. Um, I just have to stop it because it records. So just hang out. And uh, I'll be right back. Just need to go grab them. So 
hang out, use the chat. All right. Thanks for watching. Hello, everybody. Once again, we are back with another unboxing. This one, uh, I am particularly excited about. Been a long time in the making. And, uh, another one from Kid Robot. We actually teased this, I would say, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, something like that. And uh, we showed this photo right here on the side of the box, said something like, wouldn't it be cool if Kid Robot did a blue version of the Mab Graves Dunny? And sure enough, they did. Um, so yeah, here it is. If you don't believe me, look at the box. Eight inch Mad Graves Dunny Blue. There it is. All right, cool box shows off the pop surrealist stylings that Mav is known for. Um, really cool dreamer dummy. Butterflies. It's a, it's a fancy box, right? The blue guy on the back, here on the side, the pink guy. Really cool. You don't really see the, the painterly stylings contemporary art on the side of a, a dunny box normally. Um, so yeah, basic dunny box, 8 inch. Let's go and crack this thing open. Because, to be honest, I have opened it, but not all the way. If you know what I mean. I did take a picture of it earlier today. Through the, through the plastic clamshell, but I have yet to open it. So look at this thing. So Kid Robot, the press from Kid Robot, it says, Some of us dream in pastel. The ethereal mind of Mad Graves has created an 8-inch dunny fit for a fairy. Featuring her signature style big eyes and pixie spirits, this flocked piece comes complete with butterfly accents. The pink version that you can buy at retailers is limited to 1,000 pieces. And the blue version that you see here is the KidRobot.com exclusive. Both are releasing tomorrow, November 10th, at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The blue one is limited to 200 pieces, and that is selling for $100. That's the KidRobot.com exclusive. The pink one is the retailer. That's limited to 1,000 pieces, and that one is selling for 75. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and take a closer look without the obstruction of plastic. Shall we? Hope you're all having a good evening. prep for decon. So there it is. A thing of beauty. Flocked. <clears throat> go. A little bit of water. Um. So this is really nice. So the face seems like it's inlaid, possibly, or is the flocking? Actually, I think the face is part of the sculpt, and that's flocking. The seam line around the flock almost looks like the face is attached or glued, which it might be. It's tough to tell. Um, the flocking is really light, 
And honestly, if you didn't know it was flocked, um, it would be tough to tell from far away. So, arms are still articulated. So is the head. Um, Nab's got her signature on the back. Super simple, but very striking. Um, I don't want to play too much with these, but looks like the butterflies are glued pretty securely on there. And they appear to be um, a pliable kind of rubber, plastic. The paint on the face is really, really nice. Um, and from what I understand, the things I've heard, it was tough in the factory to get that subtle details, subtle details that you see. Um, that really uh, pulls, you know, Mab's painterly style from canvas to 3D as this piece does. Got the little tuft of hair. Really nice. Like I said, it's really simple, but very striking. Here's your little size comparison that I always do. Got my little Howie here. It's a three inch dunny. Get that in frame. So there's your three inch dunny. And there's your eight inch dunny. Nice and big. It's really cool the uh, the flock the more that I look at it it almost gives off a gradation the uh, determining like which angle you look at it it's like a, a blue straight on but from angles it almost looks white or a very very pastel blue muted down blue it's a really cool effect not sure if they knew that was going to happen that way when they did it. Or maybe I'm wondering if it's a blue flock or a white flock on top of blue vinyl. I wonder if that's what it is, just really light. It's tough to tell how they did it. But really good QC on this. The only thing I kinda see is there's there's a little bit of glue up here in the the face line that you can kind of spot but honestly it doesn't bother me at all I'm just being nitpicky so the the Dunny logo is imprinted on the right foot Mab logo once again on the um, the other foot the left foot um, sorry I was a little off camera there but yeah, really, really cool piece. Once again, this is releasing tomorrow. Um, the blue version that you see here is the Kid Robot exclusive. Dreamer Dunny by Mab. Um, the pink one is releasing retailer all around the world. All around the world. Tomorrow as well which is November 10th, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The blue one is 100, the pink one is 75. Highly, highly recommend picking this guy up, this girl, this one. It's, it's a really cool eight inch dunny, super unique. Um, and it's cool that they got Mab to, to do a design since you don't really get that crossover too often. You know, the pop surrealist artist type. So there you go. You guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy these videos. 
Thanks to Kid Robot for um, showing us some love once again and uh, getting us these figures to, to open up, to check them out, to give our honest opinion. Appreciate it. Kid Robot continues to make some really nice art toys along with their license stuff, but their art toys are still where it's at. These are, these are wonderful. Thanks again for watching everybody and uh, we'll see you on the flip side or decon if you're going. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is just ridiculously cool. What's up everybody? John Spanky Stokes here. Got another video review. Been banging these out recently and I'm really excited about this one. Because as you can see, <laughs> there's a little, uh, little bit, little bit of fun stuff happening with this one. This is the, um, the most recent release from the folks over at Stingrays. That's uh, S T I N G R A Y Z. Um, it's part of their leadership series play on words get it all right <laughs> I can't wait to open these so as you can see you got uh, the POTUS Donald Trump President Trump aka Captain Trump and you got his uh, arch nemesis, Kim Jong Un from North Korea, Super Kim. So we got some. Uh, ch we'll check out the uh, the boxes first. Iconic hair, both. Iconic missiles. Homeboy really likes to launch those. Iconic cash because. Trump has a lot of it, supposedly. We haven't seen his tax return yet, so we don't really know. Um, all kinds of fun stuff happening with these, right? Launches a little rocket. Engage the leadership. Action buttons on the back. So these are action buttons. There they are again. Look at them. Happy. I love the... Uh, portrayal of these so these um, manufactured in China stingrays.net is their Instagram go check them out all right they made out of PVC ABS so they aren't vinyl per se So it looks like he comes with a, uh, a turd. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Uh, he's got an interchangeable hand so he can flip the bird. Alright, let's get him out of here. just ridiculously cool okay so the shield allows for fist pumping action you push it in what does this do um wait a second so this goes up in there Oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? Oh 
<laughs> Does he actually poop? Do you like put it inside? I don't. Okay, the head comes off. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to figure this thing out as I go. Um, instructions. Action buttons. Okay, so the shield comes off and can go on his arm. All right, I see now. Okay, so he lifts up his shield, right? <laughs> um, is this the hand that comes off? Maybe this one is? I don't, I don't know. There are no instructions. I feel like I'm going to break it. Okay, so let's see here. I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure this thing out. Um, so it looks like this arm comes off. Okay, there we go. It was just a little glued on there. So pop that in there. The head just pump came off. Making heads roll. I love the likeness. Look at his face. So there you go. Flipping you the bird. What do you think? You're fired. You're fired. And I'm still trying to figure this thing out. How does this work? Okay, so yeah, it does. The little turd sits in there, and it sits exactly like it looks. So you see it. Is it magnetic? So here you go. Here's your poop demonstration. Thank you, President Trump. Well, it doesn't work the best. What's going on here? Maybe it doesn't fall out. I don't know. That's what it's supposed to do. Anyways, so there's Trump. Let's open up here. Little Rocket Man, right? Oh my gosh, he's got a he's got a turd too. Makes sense. All right. smokes these are awesome I love the way they look um all right Trump out of the way so here's homeboy with his rocket how does this launch oh pull this whoa okay how is it on there? Okay, so it doesn't really hold too much. Okay, so that just goes on there and there you go, boom. I love the playability of these. You don't get that with a lot of the designer toys, right? Playability. Oh my gosh, that is too funny. So homeboy's got the, uh, the little poop button too. Let me see if this will work. I feel like they could have done this better. Let's see if he poops. Oh, he just took a dump. Oh, baby Kim. Look at that face. Love it. All right. So, first impression. I love the figures. Really fun looking. I love the playability. The likeness is really good. They're awesome size. Um, this head isn't on the best. This feels a little bit more secure. The paint is really good. Production is great. Um, <laughs> what, what do I have bad to say about them? Well, other than the fact that Trump doesn't poop, which it's not really that big of a deal. Um, I don't really have much to say bad about them. 
They're just fun figures. My gosh. So you can go to eb-market.com. I'll put that in the um, show notes so you can click on it. But these are four and a half inches tall. Obviously, they come with um, the accessories that you see, the extra hand, the shield, the poop, the rocket. And they are, how much are these? They're 40 bucks a piece. Like, what? That's a steal, right? Or you can get both for $78. I mean, you're saving a couple bucks, but... They're, they're so fun. If you're into the news, current events, you want a fun couple desk toys, um, conversation pieces, I mean, whatever you want to do with them, they're awesome. <laughs> Especially for the price, um, posability. Uh, playability and just how goofy they are um, I'm a fan for sure big shout out to stingrays uh, Jack and Nelson over there um, you guys sent these out a while ago and uh, I haven't been able to get to them until now but really fun and I look forward to um, the Putin one who else we got world leaders the, the the leader shits who who's left right i want to see more and um yeah you guys go pick these up eb-market.com um once again thank you guys for watching please like subscribe hit the notification bell all the fun stuff you guys do on YouTube. You YouTube people who watch YouTube videos. You're YouTube awesome. I appreciate you watching. Share this video. Have some fun. Um, sharing so they can... Oh, look. Oh, they're friends now, right? They're buddies. They can kiss and hold hands. But yeah. You guys, thank you for watching. Um... Until next time, peace and hair grease.